Protests wrapping up and tonight crowds were spread across the area from St. Charles County to St. Louis County and South City. Crowds of people both young and old marching and filling major roads in Frontenac. Protesters walking down for miles down Clayton Road. Hundreds also gathering in St. Peter's as well as the Grove. News Force Kim St. Ange has been on the move all night with these protesters. She's starting us off live from South City. Kim. Sam, I'm in the Grove right now. This is where hundreds met for one of several protests across St. Louis tonight. This one just specifically was actually called Pride Protest, supporting the black LGBTQ community. Black trans lives matter. What started as a typical okay. protest quickly changed. Hundreds of people marching in the Pride protest lined Forest Park Avenue in the Central West End for a Soul Train line. That's what's even better. Like, we're getting other communities to actually come together. Uh, it's never been something like this where everybody's on the same page. The protest started in the Grove, where the owner of Beast Butcher and Block prepared 100 pounds of pork and was handing it out for free. I think the Grove is, is, uh, is one of those places that uh, you know everybody's free to believe how they want and to take care of each other, and, uh, and I think it is a perfect spot to do something like this. The main message of this gathering, no black no trans no lives matter. I'm here as a white ally for black trans lives. As a trans and non-binary person, I know that it was black trans women and trans women of color who are the reason why the queer community has any of the rights that they do. Earlier today in West County, Hundreds marched for miles along Clayton Road, starting in Frontenac. Victoria and Lauren, a recent grad and current Ladue High School senior, organized it. We feel like people in Ladue can avoid it when it's other places, but they can't avoid it when it's in their own backyard. But they have the ability to make change. Out of all the people throughout the county, people with the money can change anything. Police from several departments helped block traffic. Drivers like Henry Tong didn't seem to mind. I was honking. and I think the kids, uh, you know, they, they're coming out for a good cause. Uh, totally support it. You don't mind being stuck in traffic? No. Both of those protests, by the way, were peaceful. I've been to a number of protests throughout the week all across St. Louis, and every single organizer, even participant I've spoken with, has been very specific, saying they wanted their protests to be peaceful. Live in the Grove, Kim St. Ange, News 4. Kim, thank you.